I think the promise of the cell therapy is that it's going to provide therapy and new treatments for diseases that people are dying of today and that we have no solutions for. The promise of T-cell therapy is to be able to treat patients with cancer. There are much fewer side effects seen with T-cell therapy than with chemotherapy or radiation therapy. These cells come from the patient's own immune system. These cells recognize the tumor and don't attack normal cells. There are many obstacles with cell therapy. First, manufacturing the cells in a way that keeps them safe and pure. You need specialized laboratories, which are very expensive. And you have to know a lot about the cells and how they work and prove that they're not changing when you grow them in the laboratory. So standard methods for identifying and isolating these T cells usually involve a very labor-intensive and lengthy process of growing the cells in the lab that can take several weeks or months. If there was a way to identify these T cells rapidly and to pull them out of the blood, then we have a treatment that might be more readily available for patients. We think the answer for that is a cell sorter. The cell sorter will allow us to pick out these tumor killing cells and expand them quickly and give it to patients in a matter of weeks instead of months. The evolution of the cell sorter was a difficult one. It's taken 10 years and a lot of work. How do you sort cells? faster, uh, more efficiently. MEMS are a fascinating technology that allow you to make moving parts. They're small machines that are manufactured using chip technology. The cell sorter works by the cells moving down a pipe that's a fraction of the width of a human hair. As they flow along, we interrogate them with a laser. If you see the right color, sequence of colors, then we open a door, essentially right in front of the cell, a door that moves very quickly, about 15 millionths of a second, and the cell while it goes by gets redirected down another pipe, and then the door closes right behind it in another 15 millionths of a second. This is an exciting time for me as an oncologist, and now we can finally bring a lot of this technology into the clinic to treat patients with cancer. Cell therapy has a tremendous amount of promise, and in fact, I think the major advances in medicine over the next decade or two will be in cell therapy. It's a thrill, nothing less than a thrill, to be part of the mission to enable cell therapy. The most rewarding thing about men's in medicine is yet to come. You know, when we start saving people's lives, that, that's the reward.